Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Self balancing system last problem we are going to work out. This problem is definitely different from other problems. In previous problems what we have done in general ledger, debtors ledger by adjustment account or creditors ledger adjustment account we have done. Today in debtors ledger we will prepare general ledger adjustment account reverse. Okay? So, easy, need not to worry, I will explain, just focus 5 minutes, you will understand, then after that you can pause the video, you can work out by yourself only, so it will be a practice. By the way, uh, are you recommending our channel to many people, please do that, because free of cost, I am giving my services, please do share my language and the way of explanation, everything is very simple and easy to understand. Any lay student can understand it. Please forward it. That is the only favor I expect from you all. Thank you in advance. Okay. Now, coming to this problem. Uh, what we do is here, uh, prepare general ledger adjustment account from sales ledger. So, I kept a heading in sales ledger, general ledger adjustment account. Need not to worry, it is quite opposite to the debtors ledger adjustment account or sales ledger adjustment account. What we have done over there, everything in reverse we are going to write. Why reverse? Double entry system. General entry, we write different entries. Sales ledger or debtors ledger adjustment account, different side we will write. Opposite sides, na? there in uh, debtors means what is this? sales ledger. In sales ledger adjustment account, if we write it on the debit side, here it comes on the credit side. There if we write it on the credit side, then it comes here on the debit side. Simple rule, right? This is only the important thing you have to remember. And coming to this problem, do not worry, nothing to worry, it is not scaring you, easy problem. See, here many debtors are there. If debtors are, n number of debtors are there. You write all the data. See in this prob in this business we have data of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So all these people are data. Transactions every debt every data related different kinds of transactions are there. What are those transactions? Goods sold during the year means sales. Each and every person we have sold so and so amount. So all together 1768. Is it 1768? Let me check it out. Four thousand one seven six eight. Four thousand one six eight. Four thousand I means forty one thousand seven sixty eight. Because when I have seen nine thousand eight thousand, I thought how it is seventeen sixty eight. Page was a little bit torn, so I could not see. So anyway, what we need is here forty one thousand seven sixty eight sales are there. Okay. Next, goods returned, returned to uh, so and so people, not everyone. So, altogether what we need is here 237 are sales returns. Sales are 41,768, sales returns are 237. Okay? Cash received, each and every data different amount is there, altogether 24,200. And discount allowed to only few debtors. So, together total amount is 312 rupees. Bills receivable, so all together it is 16,300. What we want is final amount only. We are going to consider this final amounts only. We do not take each and individual person. Total we have done already. That is enough. Now, adjustments what they are saying, just focus. There was an outstanding balance of debtors to the extent of 3,985 at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year. There was an outstanding balance of debtors means balance of debtors at the beginning of the year means this is opening balance. Opening balance debtors ledger adjustment account where do you write generally debit side na. This is general ledger adjustment account. There we used to write it on the debit side opening balance. Now here it comes on the credit side. So, I will write here by balance brought down. Are you getting why I am writing on the credit side? 
3985. Why I am writing? Because there sales ledger adjustment account, debtors ledger adjustment account, we write opening balance debit side. Here it comes on the credit side. As I told you, when we are preparing general ledger adjustment account, always whatever we used to day do in uh, gen debtors ledger adjustment account opposite we have to do that's all now opening balance we have written then after that what we have to do keep the side heading what is the side heading gen sales ledger adjustment account in sales ledger na to sales ledger adjustment account side heading here also by sales ledger adjustment account kept the side heading now simple all the transactions which we have to post it first one is here goods sold during the year goods sold means sales sales in uh, sales ledger adjustment account or debtors ledger adjustment account where we used to write sales debit side here it comes on the credit side sales how much it is 41,768 768 right in the same way goods returned sales are credit side sales returns debit side goods returned or you can say sales returns Two hundred and thirty-seven. Next, cash received. There we used to write only the uh, sales on the debit side. Rest of all the transactions credit side. Na here reverse we are doing. Sales will write it on the credit. Side. Rest of all the transactions debit side. Rest of all means cash received. This is on the debit side. Cash received. How much? Twenty-four thousand two hundred. Next, uh, discount allowed. This is also debit side. There we used to write it on the credit side. So here, debit side, discount allowed 312 rupees. Next, bills receivable, debit side. There, credit side. Here, debit side. 16,300. Now, coming to the adjustments. Adjustments, what are the adjustments? There was an outstanding of balance on debt as to the extent of 3,985 at the beginning of the year. That's the opening balance we have already posted beginning only. Next, apart from that, out of the above receipts, a bill for 700 given by B was dishonored. A bill was dishonored. When we got the bills, we have written on the debit side. Bill dishonored means credit side will write 700 bill. Okay, so bills receivable dishonored. How much it is? 700. Dishonored and the charges are 5 rupees. Charges same side you will write. Charges for bills receivable dishonored. 5 rupees. Anything else? Nothing. Simple, simple over. Problem is over. Just we need to close the balances. Are you understanding it? Once again, I will explain. Let me complete this problem. Then after that, I will give you a recap. So, if you see credit side is more. Total 3,985 plus 41,768 plus 705. It is coming to 46,458. 46,458. Same amount we will write it here 46,458. So, from this, if you deduct all these things, we will say two balance carried down. How much is the balance carried down? Let us deduct each and every item minus uh, 24,000. Together, I am taking 437. 24,437. Okay, right. Minus. 16,600 and directly 16,612 rupees. It is 5,409. So, this is balance carried on. Carried on, we will be writing for the next 
to uh, by balance brought down 5409 take a screenshot then i'll give you recap once again feeling easy na nothing to worry especially this this chapter basic chapter transferring ledgers preparing ledgers that's it simple now in this problem what happened uh, compared to the previous problem this is opposite because in sales ledger sales ledger or you can say debtors ledger also in sales ledger we are preparing general ledger adjustment account generally sales ledger adjustment account or debtors ledger adjustment account whatever we have done opposite to that we are doing because preparing general ledger adjustment account not sales ledger adjustment account opposite we are doing it so opening balance there it will be op debit side debtors okay now here we are writing on the credit side opening balance is given there 3985 opening balance we have written after that we kept a side headings of sales ledger adjustment account both the sides underlined then uh, different debtors are given we need not to take each and every item directly we are taking the total amount total amount posted see sales sales means credit side 417968 and uh, goods return means sales returns 237 here and cash received 24200 here we have written discount allowed 312 okay and bills receivable 16300 and uh, here last one there is a bill dishonor dishonor means bills receivable debit side we have written dishonored means credit side bills receivable dishonored credit side we have written and also there is a charges of 5 rupees 5 rupees also on the same side so if we total up we got the balance of 5409 to balance carry down so this is transfer to the next by balance uh, brought down okay so that's all this is the problem simple by this problem we have completed entire chapter uh, i must tell you all one important thing whenever you are doing any you are following any chapter any subject from our channel now whatever i am giving explanation format problems homework this and that all together this is not sufficient you got base knowledge maybe 50% 60% knowledge you got it then rest of the 50% what you have to do is take out your test book as you understood work out more problems from your test book illustrations or exercises you work out it and see your confidence will develop a lot then after that refer old question papers also then that's the completion of any subject or chapter am i clear so today this chapter is over and in the next class we'll see different subject different topics by the way are you following my lectures whenever you follow any lecture please write it in the comment box that your opinion or how you are following you got you are getting the answer your results and when you write the exam when you are going to write the exam anything please do share with me because i can't see you so that is why please do share and i'll be very happy to read your comments Stay connected. See you in the next class with another interesting subject. Check out the playlist for more subjects. I think your subjects, uh, your your syllabus, 50 to 60 percent, or sometimes 80 to 90 percent, I have covered already. Only you need to check and follow. Stay connected. Practice well. Good luck.